Exploration of Antarctica is made difficult by the weather conditions that prevail there. Researchers work tirelessly to wrest the secrets from this harsh environment. They brave wind and weather in their work and unearth new insights, as well as the inexplicable and frosty temperatures. The following video will introduce you to some of them and take you into the deserted, icy world of Antarctica. Are you fascinated by mysterious things and archaeological discoveries? Then give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our journey. Humanoid Beings Rumors of humanoid beings called Ningen originated in Japan. Crews of fishing and research vessels first reported sightings of these creatures. The first sighting was of an unknown submarine in the distance, and it was only when they got closer that they realized it was a living creature. The humanoid Ningen live in the icy waters of Antarctica, and their descriptions vary widely. Sometimes they are described as having fish tails and fins, while other accounts speak of hind legs that are said to enable them to move around on land. The size of the Ningen also varies. Descriptions range from being compared to the stature of an ape or human to being about 27 meters long. Ningen have no facial features other than their eyes and mouth and show themselves mainly at night. The existence of these creatures has not been scientifically established. Conspiracy theories claim that the Japanese government is removing reports and visual material about the Ningen from the web. What is certain, however, is that Ningen means human in the Japanese language. The ice is alive. The winds that sweep across Antarctica's barren icy landscape cause an area the size of Texas to vibrate and make the ice sing. The vibrations create strange sounds that give the impression that the ice is alive. Scientists found that the winds cause the ice sheet to vibrate almost continuously and are the source of these seismic sounds. With this discovery, researchers hope to have found a way to observe changes in the ice shelf from a distance. Scientists are collecting data on prevailing temperatures and wind speeds to match them with the sound the ice makes in different weather conditions. The data is obtained via 34 extremely sensitive seismic sensors placed beneath the icy surface of the Arctic. In the future, these sensors will provide researchers with real-time information on changes in the ice surface. Antarctic Dinosaurs The discovery of an Elasmosaurus weighing 15 tons provided new evidence of the existence of a diverse marine ecosystem just before the dinosaurs became extinct. The Elasmosaurus found is the largest of its kind and inhabited the Earth along with the dinosaurs. Elasmosaurus belonged to the Plesiosaur family, which included some of the largest sea creatures in the Cretaceous period. Plesiosaurus resembles manatees in appearance, with the neck of a giraffe and the head of a snake. Researchers classify the heavyweight find as belonging to the genus Aristonectes because its shape differs from other Elasmosaur fossils. The specimen found in Antarctica has a shorter neck and a larger skull. The fact that this fossil lived toward the end of the Cretaceous period, shortly before the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, is of particular importance to researchers. The different morphology of this specimen to other finds of this genus shows that this species was still changing and adapting to the habitat at the end of the plesiosaur's existence. The find was a mystery to scientists for several years. At first, this genus of plesiosaur was completely unknown to paleontologists. Dry Valleys In the vastness of Antarctica's barren icy landscape, dry valleys are a remarkable anomaly. These valleys remain free of ice and snow due to unique weather conditions, which fascinate scientists. The surface of Antarctica is 98% covered by a thick layer of ice, making it the epitome of a hostile environment. Even in this harsh climate, life has found a way to exist in these adverse conditions. There is no population in the true sense of the word in Antarctica. The 1,000 to 1,500 people who stay in the region consist of researchers and scientists. Starting from the McMurdo Research Station, they brave the icy climate and head for the dry valleys. There, they find microbes inside stones that exhibited previously unknown metabolic types. However, the dry valleys are not oases in the inhospitable ice desert of Antarctica. The valleys are dominated by downdraft winds that can reach more than 300 km per hour and extract moisture from the soil. The dry valleys are also described as the most extreme desert in the world. Green Icebergs a new approach could solve the mystery of the green icebergs. 
Glaciologists have presented a new theory to explain the emerald green color of some icebergs in Antarctica. They claim to have identified iron oxide from the Antarctic mainland as the cause of the green coloration. The study, published in January 2019 in the Journal of Geophysical Research Oceans, suggests that the green icebergs carry an important nutrient for marine life from the Antarctic mainland into the open sea. The scientists theorized this after finding large amounts of iron under the ice of the Antarctic mainland. The iron content exceeded that of the glacial ice by a factor of 500. The icebergs drifting into the open sea release iron on their journey, which is fed by phytoplankton, which in turn is itself an important component for their life in the oceans. Mount Erebus Mount Erebus is the southernmost of all active volcanoes and lies in the coldest region on Earth. It was formed 1.3 million years ago and has an altitude of 3,794 meters above sea level. Its slopes are covered by snow and ice as well as glaciers, interspersed with the odd lava flow. Witnessing the intense heat within, Mount Erebus usually emits hot steam. These eruptions with their different types of gas are explored together with its rocks. The caves of Mount Erebus are home to microbes that thrive thanks to the prevailing heat but have hardly been explored. Researchers believe that a third of all bacteria found on Earth exist there. These microbes get the energy they need to survive from the iron and hydrogen found in the caves. Antarctic Bases How do you build bases in one of the most remote places on Earth in a hostile environment? If you think of these buildings as Spartan wooden huts, you have a completely wrong idea of the newest shelters in Antarctica. The architecture of the new bases in the cold, dry and windy climate of Antarctica is becoming more modern. The Brazilian research station Comandante Ferraz accommodates its up to 65 residents in flat buildings that look very futuristic due to their minimalist exterior. In the two structures, the living and working areas are structurally separated from each other. The residential facilities are located in the upper building and the lower one houses the work and research facilities. The station was completed in 2018. The Indian station, Bharati, presents itself in a similarly modernist design. It was built from 134 prefabricated containers to ensure easy transport and assembly. In 2013, the research station was presented to the public. The following year, South Korea put its Jangboga research station into operation. The station is a three-wing structure elevated on steel-reinforced blocks and can accommodate up to 60 people. Underground Antarctic Lake while drilling into an underground lake 600 kilometers from the South Pole, scientists found the remains of prehistoric microbes. The crustaceans and tardigrades are all smaller than poppy seeds. They were found in Lake Mercer, whose water surface had been untouched for thousands of years. Microbiologists at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln described the find as completely unexpected. The researchers' excitement was heightened by the discovery of land creatures with eight legs. The scientists assumed that these animals lived in the Transantarctic Mountains around Lake Mercer during the short warm periods. At that time, the glacial ice was receding. Antarctic Pyramids The images of a mountain in Antarctica in the shape of a pyramid sent the web into a tizzy and attracted many theories about its origin. One theory suspects an ancient civilization as the pyramid's builder and another speaks of alien involvement in building the structure in Antarctica. The pyramidal mountain has no name and is one of the many peaks of the Ellsworth Mountains in Antarctica, discovered by Lincoln Ellsworth during a flight on the 23rd of November 1935. It's located in the southernmost part of the Ellsworth Mountains, called the Heritage Range, which is known for its wealth of fossils. Among other things, 500 million year old trilobites from the Cambrian period were discovered there. Experts reject all theories and provide a simple explanation for the formation of the pyramid shape. Several hundred million years of erosion are said to have been responsible for the result. Yeti crabs. Kiwa Tyleri is the newest member of the Yeti crab family and was first found in the waters off Antarctica. This yeti crab is white, hairy, and just like its Himalayan namesake, hard to get in front of the lens. The size of the crustacean is much smaller, 
The specimens found varied in length from 0.5 to 15 centimeters and represent the third species of Yeti crab, first discovered in the South Pacific in 2005. For the discovery of this new species, researchers guided a remotely operated submarine 2,600 meters deep to the deep-sea hydrothermal vents of the East Scotia Ridge. In this harsh environment, several populations of Yeti crabs were found living in more difficult conditions than their relatives. Analysis of the Antarctic Yeti crabs revealed that this species is genetically distinct. We hope that we have presented you with some news from the icy expanses of Antarctica and that you have enjoyed the video. What is your opinion on the subject? Do you know of any other mysterious events in Antarctica? Please use the comment section to let us know what you think. We look forward to hearing from you.